Society brainwashes you to stay poor. Yeah, you heard that right. It's almost like there's this big, invisible hand guiding your every move, but not in the direction you want to go. Our story kicks off with a guy named Alex. Picture this. Alex, full of ambition, his eyes lit with dreams bigger than the sky. He steps out of college, diploma in hand, ready to take on the world and make his mark. He's got plans, big plans. But fast forward a few years, and the picture isn't quite what Alex imagined. Instead of climbing mountains, he's stuck in a trench, living paycheck to paycheck, drowning in debt and those dreams. They seem like they were from another lifetime. It's not for lack of trying, though. Alex did everything right, according to the playbook society handed him. So, what went wrong? Let me tell you, it's like there's this unspoken rule book that society uses to keep folks exactly where they are. And it's not just Alex caught in this web. It's a story replayed in the lives of millions. You're told to get an education, land a job, and climb the ladder. But what they don't tell you is that the game is rigged from the start. You're running on a treadmill, sweating but going nowhere. This isn't just about Alex or you or me. It's about a system designed with a sneaky undercurrent. It whispers promises of wealth and happiness, but keeps moving the goalposts. It dangles the carrot of the good life, but feeds you the stick of endless consumerism. Buy this and you'll be happy. Land that job and you're set. But the truth? It's a maze with moving walls. You work more to buy more, but end up having less. Less freedom, less happiness, and definitely less money. And it's not just about spending. It's about earning, saving, and investing. Or rather, how society teaches you all wrong about these two. So where does this leave Alex and, frankly, the rest of us? It's like waking up in a game where the rules are made up and the points don't matter because the house always wins. But the good thing is that once you see the game for what it is, you can start to play it differently. You can choose not to be a pawn, but a player. You can decide to learn the rules and then rewrite them for yourself. And once you start peeling away the layers of societal conditioning, you'll find that the path to wealth, real wealth, is paved with knowledge, action, and a healthy dose of skepticism about what society tells you to value. All right, now let's talk about how exactly society brainwashes you to stay poor. The first way society brainwashes you to stay poor is by trapping you in a relentless cycle of survival mode. Picture this, every day you wake up and you're on the battlefield. Not with swords and shields, but with bills, debts, and a paycheck that seems to vanish before it even lands in your hands. This isn't just life. It's a meticulously designed trap, a maze with walls built by societal expectations and norms that keep you running in circles, chasing after security that's always just one step ahead. In this grand scheme of things, where does the idea of thriving even fit in? It doesn't. That's how society keeps you locked in, convincing you that to survive is to succeed. But let me tell you something critical, something that might just be the key to breaking free from these chains. The wealthy, the ones who've navigated their way out of this maze, they don't play by these rules. They're not out there just trying to defend their goal. They're on the offense, scoring, because they understand something fundamental. Knowledge is power, especially financial knowledge. This is how society brainwashes you to stay poor, by making you believe that the game of life is all about defense, about clinging to what you have because it's too risky to go after what you could have. But here's the truth, the secret that's been kept just out of reach. When you switch from survival mode to offense, the game changes entirely. Take, for instance, the story of someone like Warren Buffett. Did he sit back, content with just getting by? Absolutely not. Buffett went on the offense armed with knowledge, curiosity, and a refusal to play by the rules society laid out for the masses. He invested in himself, in his financial education, long before he made his first investment in the stock market. And look where that led him. It wasn't luck. It was strategy, a deliberate choice to move beyond survival into a realm of wealth and abundance. So how do you start this shift? It begins with education with tearing down the myths and misconceptions we've been fed about money and success. It's about investing in your personal development, understanding the importance of financial literacy, 
and realizing that money is a tool that can work for you, not against you. Another formidable way society keeps the chains of financial stagnation tightly wound around us is the myth of traditional success, a narrative deeply ingrained from the moment we start understanding the world around us. It's a tale as old as time, suggesting that certain jobs or careers are golden tickets to financial stability and happiness. But here's the twist, the stark reality that might just stir the pot of conventional thinking this is exactly how society brainwashes you to stay poor. Let's peel back the layers of this myth. From a young age, we're funneled into a system that champions the idea of a linear path to success. Become a doctor, a lawyer, an engineer, they say, and you'll be set for life. But what if I told you that this well-trodden path isn't the only road to prosperity? In fact, it's often a scenic route that meanders through the land of missed opportunities and unfulfilled potential. Consider for a moment the stories of individuals who stepped off the beaten path and carved their niches in the world. Think of Steve Jobs, who dropped out of college and revolutionized the tech industry, or Oprah Winfrey, who overcame adversity to build a media empire. These icons didn't follow the script society handed them. They rewrote it. Yet the system continues to peddle the myth of traditional success, boxing us into careers that may not ignite our passions or unlock our true potential. So why does society push this narrative? It's simple. Keeping people on a predefined track maintains the status quo. It's easier to manage a workforce that doesn't question, that doesn't stray from the path. But here's the kicker. Adhering to this myth limits your thinking and, by extension, your wealth-building capabilities. It's a form of brainwashing, subtle yet effective, keeping you tethered to the idea that financial security can only be achieved through traditional means. All right, the next cunning trap society sets to brainwash us into staying poor lies in the gross undervaluation of self-investment. Yes, the third way society keeps the wool over our eyes is by sidelining the paramount importance of pouring resources into our personal development, business acumen, and financial literacy. It's a tale as twisted as it is true, a silent decree that whispers, stay where you are, for that is where you belong. But oh, how wrong that whisper is. Society has us chasing after the wind, all the while neglecting the very essence of what could propel us to true wealth and fulfillment. This oversight, this blatant disregard for nurturing the mind and spirit, is precisely how society brainwashes you to stay poor. But let's pause for a moment and ponder the transformative power of investing in oneself. Imagine, if you will, the profound impact of surrounding yourself with individuals who not only recognize but prioritize the growth of their minds, the expansion of their business understanding, and the deepening of their financial insights. These are the individuals who break free from the shackles of societal constraints, charting courses toward horizons we're taught to believe are beyond our reach. Consider the luminaries who've walked this path before us. Individuals like Elon Musk, who, driven by an insatiable thirst for knowledge, catapulted himself into the annals of entrepreneurial and scientific history. Or Oprah Winfrey, whose commitment to personal growth and understanding of business dynamics turned her name into a global empire. These icons didn't ascend to their thrones by adhering to society's script. They tore the script to shreds, writing their own narratives through relentless self-investment. So, how do we embark on this journey of self-investment? The first step is recognizing the trap society has set for us, understanding that our growth is not a luxury, but a necessity. From there, we must seek knowledge with the fervor of a treasure hunter. Dive into books on financial literacy that unravel the mysteries of wealth that society keeps hidden. Engage with podcasts and seminars that expand your understanding of business, turning complex concepts into tools you can wield with confidence. Moreover, cultivate an environment that nurtures growth. Align yourself with mentors and peers who challenge you, who elevate your thinking and push you beyond the boundaries of your comfort zone. Remember, the company you keep can either anchor you to the ocean floor or propel you toward the stars. By the way, if you're enjoying the video so far and want more content like this, comment the word money mindset so I know. This next revelation is the linchpin in understanding the elaborate puzzle. 
It's about redefining wealth, a concept so distorted by societal norms that it has led many astray in their quest for financial freedom. This, my friends, is yet another potent way society brainwashes you to stay poor. Society has painted a picture of wealth with broad strokes of materialism and extravagance. A lot of money is often visualized as flashy cars, designer clothes, and opulent mansions. It's a narrative that's been sold to us through glossy magazine pages, glamorous social media posts, and the silver screen, weaving a tapestry of illusion that equates wealth with the accumulation of things. Wealthy individuals, those who've truly mastered the art of prosperity, understand a fundamental truth that remains elusive to the broader public. Money, in its essence, is a tool, a resource better spent on avenues that yield long-term growth and fulfillment rather than the fleeting high of luxury purchases. This isn't just about being frugal. It's about strategic allocation of resources. It's about investing in self-improvement, in acquiring knowledge and skills that elevate your value and capability. It's about directing your financial power towards assets that appreciate over time, generating passive income, and building a legacy that outlives the temporary thrill of the latest gadget or fashion trend. This is how society brainwashes you to stay poor, by selling you a definition of wealth that's as hollow as it is enticing. So how do you start this journey of redefining wealth? Begin by shifting your perspective. Recognize that society's portrayal of wealth is a facade, a mirage in the desert of consumerism. Start investing in yourself, be it through courses, books, or experiences that broaden your horizons and deepen your understanding of the world and your place in it. Next, look at money through a new lens. Instead of seeing it as a means to an end for immediate gratification, view it as a seed that, when planted in the fertile soil of investment, whether in the market, in real estate, or in your own ventures, can grow into a towering tree under whose shade you can find security and peace. Redefining wealth is not just a financial strategy. It's a rebellion against the societal norms that seek to keep you ensnared in the cycle of earning and spending. It's a declaration of independence, a commitment to live by principles that transcend the conventional wisdom of the crowd. Moving forward next is the power of business ownership, a realm brimming with potential for wealth creation, yet so often downplayed and overlooked in favor of the safety net of employment. This, right here, is a critical way society brainwashes you to stay poor by subtly instilling the belief that the path to financial security is through clocking in and out of a job that builds someone else's dream. From the moment we step into the world of formal education, the script is clear. Study hard, get good grades, and land a secure job. It's a mantra repeated so often that it becomes ingrained, a default setting that directs our life choices without us even questioning its validity. The narrative seldom celebrates the entrepreneur, the individual who dares to step off the beaten path to forge their own. Yet history is littered with tales of those who did just that and changed the world in the process. Think of Madam C.J. Walker, who, despite the odds stacked against her, became the first female self-made millionaire in America through her line of beauty and hair products for black women. Or consider the story of Jan Coombe, who went from food stamps to founding WhatsApp, ultimately selling it for billions. These stories are not mere anecdotes. They're testaments to the transformative power of entrepreneurship and business ownership. Yet, society keeps this narrative on the down low. Why? Because entrepreneurship is fraught with risk, and risk doesn't sit well with the societal blueprint of playing it safe. But in downplaying the value of business ownership, society perpetuates the cycle of financial dependency. It ensures that you remain a cog in the machine contributing to someone else's wealth while your potential for financial independence and wealth creation is stifled. So how do you break free from this cycle? It starts with a shift in mindset. Begin to see yourself not just as a consumer, but as a creator, an innovator, a potential entrepreneur. Understand that the path to true wealth often requires stepping into the arena of business ownership, where you can leverage your talents passions and ideas to build something that contributes value to others and, in turn, generates wealth for you. Embarking on this journey necessitates embracing education beyond the conventional. Dive into the world of financial literacy, 
understand the basics of starting and running a business, and arm yourself with the knowledge to make informed decisions. Seek out mentors and role models who have walked the path before you. Their journeys, filled with both triumphs and setbacks, can light the way and inspire you to persevere. This is how society brainwashes you to stay poor by obscuring the path to wealth that business ownership can provide. But now that you're aware, you have the power to challenge the status quo. Start small if you must, with a side hustle or a passion project. Learn the ropes, understand the market, and gradually scale your venture. Remember, every giant enterprise began as a dream, nurtured by someone who dared to believe that they could build their own path to wealth. All right, the sixth way society brainwashes you to stay poor is by instilling the belief that money is the ultimate goal rather than a tool to achieve true freedom and autonomy. From the get-go, we're indoctrinated with the mantra, work hard, earn money, and success will follow. It's a linear equation presented to us where money sits at the end of the rainbow as the pot of gold. But here's the twist in the plot. While the majority are breaking their backs chasing after this elusive treasure, the wealthy are playing a different game altogether. They've understood something fundamental that remains just out of grasp for many. Money, in its essence, is not a goal to be hoarded, but a tool to be utilized. This is how society brainwashes you to stay poor, by making you chase after money without ever teaching you how to harness it. Imagine, if you will, a world where money works for you, not the other way around. This isn't a fantasy or a far-fetched dream. It's the reality for those who've cracked the code. The wealthy use money to buy back their time and freedom, investing in assets that work round the clock, generating income without the constant exchange of their personal hours for dollars. It's a game where the currency is not just paper and coins, but time and freedom. Take, for example, the stories of individuals like Robert Kiyosaki, author of Rich Dad, Poor Dad, who emphasizes the importance of financial education and the distinction between assets and liabilities. Or consider the journey of Warren Buffett, who invested in learning and understanding the stock market from a young age, using money as a tool to build one of the world's most significant fortunes. These aren't just tales of financial success. They're lessons in the art of transforming money from a master into a servant. So how do you begin to shift from seeing money as the end-all and be-all to utilizing it as a tool for your liberation? First, it starts with education, a deep, profound understanding of financial literacy that unveils the true nature of wealth creation. It's about learning the difference between assets that put money in your pocket and liabilities that take it out. It's about understanding the power of passive income and investments that grow while you sleep. Next, surround yourself with the right influences people who embody the philosophy of using money wisely as a means to an end, not the end itself. These mentors and role models can offer invaluable insights, guiding you through the labyrinth of financial freedom and teaching you to invest in avenues that align with your goals of autonomy and independence. But remember, this journey is not without its challenges. Society has a vested interest in maintaining the status quo, in keeping you in the dark about the true potential of money as a liberating tool. It's a narrative reinforced through media, education, and even the cultural ethos. But now that you're aware, you have the power to rewrite your script. Next way, society brainwashes you to stay poor, diverting your attention and resources from the avenues of true wealth creation to the fleeting satisfaction of consumption. Society, with its glittering billboards, seductive advertisements, and the ever-present lure of the next big thing, has spun a web of deception. It's a web that whispers sweet nothings of instant gratification, of the status and prestige that supposedly come with owning the latest gadget, the trendiest clothes, or the flashiest car. Keep up with the Joneses, it says, for that is where happiness lies. But dig a little deeper, and you'll find that this relentless pursuit of material wealth is a mirage, a desert of promises that leaves you thirstier with every step. The truth is starkly different from the narrative peddled by society. Wealthy individuals, those who have broken free from the shackles of societal conditioning, understand that money is a tool best used not to acquire liabilities, but to build assets. They know that true wealth isn't measured by the accumulation of things, 
but by the freedom to live life on their own terms. They invest in stocks, real estate, and businesses avenues that compound wealth over time, rather than depreciating the moment they leave the showroom floor. But why is this knowledge not more widespread? Why does society continue to push us towards consumerism? The answer lies in the very fabric of our economic system, which thrives on consumption. Luxury brands become richer with every dollar spent on items that offer no return on investment, perpetuating a cycle of work, earn, spend, and repeat. It's a cycle that benefits the few at the expense of the many, keeping individuals locked in a perpetual state of wanting more, but owning less. So how do we break free from this cycle? It begins with a shift in perspective. Start by understanding that you are more than the sum of your possessions. Recognize that true wealth comes from investing in assets that grow in value over time. Educate yourself on the fundamentals of financial literacy. Understand the power of compound interest and learn the difference between assets and liabilities. Next, practice mindful spending. Before making a purchase, ask yourself if it's an asset that will contribute to your wealth or a liability that will take money out of your pocket. Remember, Every dollar spent on a depreciating asset is a dollar that could have been invested in your financial future. This misplacement of financial priorities, this push towards consumerism, is how society brainwashes you to stay poor. But armed with knowledge and a new perspective, you have the power to rewrite your financial destiny. Start today by making choices that align with your goals of wealth creation and financial freedom. Reject the siren call of consumerism and invest in building a legacy that transcends the ephemeral allure of luxury goods. This isn't just a step. Moving forward, the next way society brainwashes you to stay poor by promoting the chase of passion without anchoring it in purpose. The advice to follow your passion is dished out with the best intentions, painting a picture of a life of joy and abundance simply by doing what one loves. However, this advice in its raw, unrefined form, misses a crucial component, purpose. Society sings the praises of passion, but whispers little about the importance of aligning that passion with a purpose that serves others and, by extension, generates wealth. It's a subtle omission, yet it makes all the difference between a hobby that merely brings personal joy and a vocation that fulfills a need in the world, bringing both personal satisfaction and financial reward. Consider the stories of those who've managed to bridge the gap between passion and purpose. Steve Jobs, for instance, was not just passionate about technology. He was driven by a purpose to make technology accessible and intuitive for the masses. This alignment of passion with purpose didn't just revolutionize industries. It built one of the wealthiest companies in the world. So why does society not place more emphasis on this critical alignment? perhaps because teaching individuals to follow their passion without purpose keeps them chasing a dream that, more often than not, doesn't lead to financial independence. It keeps them consuming resources in pursuit of their passions, rather than creating and contributing value to the world. This is how society brainwashes you to stay poor, by omitting the crucial link between passion and purpose. Breaking free from this cycle begins with a deep, introspective journey to understand not just what ignites your fire, but also how this passion can serve a purpose greater than yourself. It's about asking, how can my passion solve a problem, fill a need, or enrich lives? This is where true fulfillment and potential wealth lie not in the mere act of doing what you love, but in doing what you love with intention and purpose. The practical steps to start this journey are simple, yet profound. Begin by identifying your passions. Then research and reflect on how these passions can meet the needs of the world around you. Look for intersections where your skills and interests align with market demands or societal needs. Remember, following your passion with purpose is not a guaranteed path to riches. However, it is a path to creating meaningful work that not only has the potential to generate wealth, but also brings a deeper sense of fulfillment and contribution. Finally, the last way society brainwashes you to stay poor is by failing to educate on the impact of inflation, which silently erodes savings and disproportionately benefits those armed with financial literacy. 
Inflation, in its essence, is the gradual increase in prices and the consequent decrease in the purchasing value of money. Yet, society's discourse on financial well-being seldom highlights this creeping danger. Instead, the focus is placed on the more immediate gratifications and fears, how to earn more, how to save, and how to spend. But what of the slow poison that is inflation, diminishing the value of these savings, rendering them less potent with each passing year? This is how society brainwashes you to stay poor by keeping you in the dark about the forces that silently diminish your wealth. The wealthy understand this game. They know that to merely save in the traditional sense is to lose. They leverage their knowledge to invest in assets that not only hedge against inflation, but grow in value over time real estate, stocks, commodities, and more. Meanwhile, the average person, guided by the conventional wisdom of saving for a rainy day, finds their financial shelter weakening with every downpour of inflation. So how does one navigate this landscape? How do you arm yourself against the insidious effects of inflation? The first step is education. Begin by familiarizing yourself with basic economic principles. Resources are available in abundance from books to online courses, podcasts, and more that can demystify these concepts without requiring a degree in finance. Learn about inflation-adjusted returns, the importance of diversifying investments, and how different asset classes react to economic changes. Next, apply this knowledge. If you're saving with a specific goal in mind, consider investment options that have the potential to outpace inflation, whether it's through a retirement account, stocks, bonds, or real estate. The objective is to ensure your money grows at a rate that not only counters inflation, but propels you forward. And now that you know how society brainwashes you to stay poor, you can take the remedial steps and take back your life. This video is for educational purposes only, and does not constitute investment advice. It is important to conduct thorough research and consult with financial professionals before making any investment decisions. The value of investments can fluctuate and past performance is not indicative of future results. Always assess your risk tolerance and investment goals before allocating your capital. Now, if you want to know the truth. No one tells you about money. I recommend you watch this video next. Thank you for joining us today. We hope you found this video informative and exciting. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more wealth building content. Until next time, happy investing and may your financial journey be prosperous.